Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna to talk about five things you need to know before you buy a used pinball machine. So stay tuned. Hey, if you're new to the channel and you like what we do here, take a moment to maybe subscribe, hit the notification bell, and click the like. That helps grow the channel. So I've been doing this hobby for about 22 years now. I've seen a lot of things, and I wanted to pass along some of those things I've seen over the years on how it can apply to buying a used pinball machine. I'm gonna give you five tips to look for when you're buying a used pinball machine. I'm gonna be focusing on the Bally Williams from the 90s, but you can take this knowledge and apply it just about to any pinball machine you're interested in buying used. These two games are a great example. I just got these in and I've already started to shop out the Theater Magic. Uh, the Twilight Zone I've left as is because it's a good example of what a typical machine looks like that has been unshopped and untreated. First thing we're gonna talk about is the cabinet and things to look for there. So. On some of these Williams Valley games from the 90s, the artwork on the cabinet, which is a vinyl sticker getting rubbed by legs being too loose. So this theater of magic, there's some games that are worse than others. You can see the wrinkling of the uh, vinyl graphic. And the next thing you want to look at is the artwork vibrance. Again, with some of the Williams artwork, especially 90 through about 94, 95, they had problem with fading, especially in the reds. This Twilight Zone actually looks really good. I've seen some that look completely faded out and this all just looks yellow. I'll show you an example on my Indiana Jones that I have. All the red is completely gone on this cabinet. I bought it in this condition knowing this and that one day I will go ahead and fix that up with new art, but all these rays right here used to be red. This all used to be a red gradient that would flow out almost like sun rays. But this is a really bad example of art fade from sunlight. So moving on to the next thing, as far as cabinets go, look at your rails. So this is my creature from the Black Lagoon. These rails are severely dented right here. Now you can get new rails for this thing and I do plan on doing that. So that's something to look at because that kind of tells me that the head, the back box has crashed down Maybe when they were moving it or they didn't have it locked down and it slammed down on these rails. Now this creature did get beat up quite a bit. You can see the cabinet right here is actually coming away and the hinge right here is bent right here and also on the other side. So I have new hinges on the way and I'm gonna be fixing up this cabinet. So another thing sellers like to do, it's quick and easy, is if there's nicks in the black areas of the cabinet, Sometimes they'll take a magic marker or even like a touch up, you know, paint that doesn't match. If you see a cabinet that's been heavily touched up, that also is a eyebrow raising concern. Again, it's just cosmetic, like this has been touched up with a marker. So there's actually, the veneer is actually missing and you can see just the bare rough wood underneath it. So that's another thing, but you know, if this is in line with other pinball machines, you know, you're probably all right, but you know, those are just some things to look at. And also as well as the cabinet, does it have any, any bad cuts or bruises? So the art right here looks like someone took a paintbrush and just painted that. So maybe the artwork got scraped off at one point in time. You know, these pinball machines do get moved around or they're bumped around in arcades or bars. And you know, sometimes they've had a hard life. Also, a good thing to check out is look for rust. Like these legs are heavily rusted. These were in a car wash, so there was moisture behind the wall where they would run the cars through. This is one of those automatic car washes. So legs, you can get new legs from uh, like Marco Specialties. Uh, there's several people online that sell the legs, but the leg bolts are a bit rusted right here. So I actually have a whole new box of uh, legs. And another thing to look at is how bad has the coin door been jacked up from people trying to break into it? Now this one has a lot of marks from a flathead screwdriver from people breaking the locks and bending the tab like this. So this was at a commercial location where they charge money so people would break in. And it, it leaves some damage right here. And it's just paint, you could touch that up. But that also kind of gives you an indication on how hard of a life this machine has lived. So I hope some of these tips were helpful. 
I know there's other things that I didn't mention just due to time making this a short video, but if you have some other ideas and other tips, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. It'll be helpful for future viewers. So this is a multi-part series. So in our next episode, we're gonna be focusing on the play field and what things to look for there. So until next time, keep flipping.